It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Nice and frozen over. Waiting for a little bit of snow tomorrow. Unfortunately, it's going to be about two inches of ice. I still haven't gotten that big dump of snow that I'm waiting for, but that should be soon. I have my ride all set up and ready to go to head out to the woods. I'll probably be out there for about a week. Um, got all my gear set. And like I said, I'll be doing a short video of what I'm packing into the woods and uh, what I'm not taking. But um, it should be fun. I hope we get more snow and more ice than expected and I can get dropped off in the mountains 10 minutes away. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. For my daily hike, my daily three miler. It's freezing balls out here. It's awesome. Love the cold. And uh, there's nothing like getting out into nature every day. And uh, when you were a kid, or even now, do you ever look up into the top of a mountain far, far away, or to a patch of woods off in the distance. And you ever wonder to yourself, wonder to yourself, I wonder what's over there. I wonder what's in that patch of woods. I wonder what it looks like, what the view looks like from the top of those mountains. And did you ever just set out to see and to find out. If you haven't, you should. As often as possible. And uh, I hope you got out today. Commune with nature, get out in the woods, see something beautiful. The snow geese are flying around everywhere. And uh, find a little peace in your day. So find that spot when you get out. Find that spot that no one's probably ever walked to. That makes you wonder what's over there? What's in that patch of woods? I want to see. I want to find out. I want to be the only person who stood there in years maybe ever this is pretty bitchin for my neighborhood you can't complain I'm a mile from my house and uh, this is where I start my daily hikes anyway but it's pretty nice can't complain gorgeous view it's rare that I run into anyone where I walk so find that place find that place it's just for you it's your spot it's your ground it's your stomping grounds some place that you find solitude and you find peace. 
where you can ponder riddles. And I hope it's not too dark and you can see me. The sun's going down. But, a box without hinges, key or lid, yet golden treasure inside his head. What is it? And many people will probably know the answer to that riddle. You've heard it over the years. Post your answer in the replies. And one last thing. If you're one of my friends or a stranger I've never met, you're following along in my videos, I entertain you, you find something valuable in what I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I get some benefits from that um, in the form of usability for my channel. Um, but please subscribe comment on my videos, share your thoughts, and uh, I'll be doing some prize giveaways. I was aiming for 500 subscribers. I will do a random lottery giveaway of a first, second, and third prize, um, probably of some items that I use when I'm out camping in the Appalachians. Uh, but I'm also going to share, I'm also going to give away some personal things that I made with my own hands. And um, perhaps people would like one of my paintings. And they're not just any paintings. Rumor is I'm a pretty good painter. I went to a uh, fancy art school. And um, it's winter time. That's the time when I usually paint and draw journal write down my thoughts and the nicer seasons I'm usually not found indoors but um, in any event subscribe to my channel I'll be doing prize giveaways um, I'm aiming for 500 subscribers um, that will allow me things like live streaming uh, monetization which I'll never ask for a dollar for a thing um, but Thanks for coming along. Have an awesome rest of your weekend. And do indeed get outside. You'd be glad you did. So my friend says, during some vague philosophical debate, well, you know what intelligent people think. And I looked at him straight in the eye and asked him, how the fuck would you know? My dear friend out hiking a couple of weeks ago sees this rock. Perhaps you saw the photos. And he says, looks just like a big penis. I said, how the fuck would you know? Because I've seen you out taking a piss in the woods. And you're certainly not autobiographically speaking. So don't share. So I just encountered an acquaintance, very, very, very pretty woman. And um, so an acquaintance and she says, would you like to get together for coffee sometime? So, you know, I'd like to take the opportunity. And I said, sure. She goes, well, you know, you know how to reach me. Let's talk. And uh, so we're talking for just a few minutes. And uh, she says, in five minutes, the girl shares with me things that most people wouldn't share with somebody else if they'd known them for years. And one thing she said was, you'll probably hear things about me. So, my response was, where, from the National Enquirer? Sweetheart, you're not the sun and we're not all planets. And if I'm probably going to hear things about you, which I don't know anybody that you know, that's red flag of the day. Till next time.
just in time. The end of every hike, you see this, it's well worth it. It was freezing out there and now it's time to chow down. Wish you were here, I know you do. And I dream of a world, a perfect world, where chickens can cross the road and not be questioned about their motives. Enjoy your weekend.